Blessed be the name of the Lord. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okose. Now, I want you to come in quickly. If you're watching me and you are always dreaming of seeing yourself having sex in the dream, you see yourself eating in the dream, you see yourself being married in the dream, yet you are not married physically, you see yourself in a party where a marriage ceremony, in some cases you see yourself being the one that is being married, or in some cases you maybe you are in a wedding ceremony, you are not the one being married, but you are in a wedding ceremony. You see yourself carrying a child, and yet you don't have a child of your own. You see yourself, your teeth is falling out in your dream. Your teeth is removing. You see yourself, there is feces around you, pool around you. Or you see yourself in a dustbin, in a, in a dustbin. You see yourself in a dirty area. You see animals chasing. You see, you see yourself having seen snakes in your dream. Or you are watching me, you are saying to me, man of God, every time I have terrible nightmares, I see all kinds of animals chasing me. You see yourself trying to climb a mountain, but yet you cannot get to the top. You see yourself flying in the dream. You see yourself by the side of a river or by the side of, it, of the sea. Some of you looking at me right now, you see yourself in funny places like in your father's compound. You see yourself in your old primary school, your old secondary school, your old university, writing an exam. You see yourself in, in, in where you grew up from. Or you are watching me, you see yourself around dead people. People that are dead, but they are talking to you. In some cases, you see yourself eating with them. You see yourself dining with them. It's a sign that there is a devil after your life. It can affect your love life. It can affect your marriage. It can affect your rising. It can affect your career. It can affect your finances, your business. These dreams have different meaning, which I don't want to go into right now. I just came to pray. But I'm explaining this dream so that you can be able to understand which one is your own. Some of you see yourself in the hospital. Some of you see yourself with a madman chasing you or making love to a madman. Some of you see yourself naked in the dream we speaks of shame we speaks of disgrace some of you see yourself you know you know in all kinds of funny areas but by the power of the holy ghost listen as i pray this prayer for you i want you to book for your deliverance you need deliverance if you're in abuja you can call the the details are on the screen you can call the lines on the screen plus two three four nine one three eight six zero eight seven one two. The lines are on the screen. The most important thing for you to know is that there is solution. A lady said to me, every time I'm in a serious relationship, once my man wants to engage me, I will see myself having sex in the dream. And after I see that dream, the relationship will crumble. Many of you today, what is controlling your life is your dream. When you see dead people in your dream, it's a sign that things dies in your hand. Nothing produces in your hand. There are many of you looking at me right now. Money comes into your hand, but money does not stay. Money comes, you can't explain how the money goes. You, you ask yourself, why is my life like this? You can't explain. Money enters, but you cannot explain how the money goes. There are many of you looking at me right now. You are around people that can help you. You know people that can help you, but they don't help you. They never help you. They don't even look towards your direction. It's because they are, you see dead people in your dream. You see feces in your dream. You see yourself eating in your dream. Some of you, it is the spirit of bad luck. They have put a garment of failure on you. Every time you see yourself eating in the dream, it's a proof that there is a deposit inside of you. That deposit is the deposit the enemy is using to fight your life, fight your finances, damage your destiny, frustrate everything about you. But in a name that is above every name, I stand to make a decree right now. Every spirit over your life, every spell over your destiny, every satanic dream, 
every spiritual dream that is controlling your life. I stand to prophesy. Isaiah 7, 7 says, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. The Bible says in Lamentation chapter 3, it said, who shall say it again? And it come to pass when the Lord God have not said it. In Psalm 23 verse 5, the Bible says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. In Psalm 27 it says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. When whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked and the foes who gang up to eat up my flesh, they shall stumble, they shall fall. The Bible says, rejoice not over me, O my enemies. For if I fall, I shall rise again. When I walk in darkness, the Lord shall be my light. I stand to make a prophetic decree over everyone that is hearing the sound of my voice. That spell is broken. That satanic dream, I disconnect you today. I break that spell today. I frustrate that spell today. I cancel it from your life. I declare you free. 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 No more demonic night visitors. Malakos of Prahita, Dirakos Kapala Grashtosaria. I prophesy, get back what was taken. Get back your life. Get back your star. Get back your greatness. Get back your increase. Get back your Atena Mashana Mahada. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I will love you to book for your deliverance. Whether you are in America, Canada, fly down to Nigeria at our international headquarters here in the city of Abuja. My details is on the session under this video. Get the details. Book for your one-on-one -on -one session with me. And I'm believing God that your deliverance will be settled. It is your season. It is your time. Share this video to everyone you know. I cannot wait to see you. God bless you. Shalom.